Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to export from World Creator into Cinema 4D uh, and Octane Render. So I won't go over all the um, aspects of World Creator, just some basics. I'm going to start with the default base. Here we've got base. I'm going to go into my filters, add a layer, add, I'm going to add a, gen in general, invert height. So what that does is it inverts the height based on this height area we can see. I'm going to add and close that. And then I'll also add a canyon. Canyon, yep. I'll add and close that. So that's my base and my filter I'm going to add on this. I'll also add a texture just to show you how that works. Add. Um, add a dirt texture, add and close. Uh, going to do a texture distribution, height select, and this is going to show where I'm going to distribute my dirt. So if I go over here and I toggle heat maps, it shows me like a mask of where this is going to be applied. If I say a height range starting at zero, and then I drag it up, you can see how it's only the red area now is being selected. I want to smooth that transition off a little bit. So that's my heat map there. I turn the heat map off, you can see how it's only applying the dirt to the area where the heat map was um, selected. So that is a general texture. A general base filter and now you just come across to export first I'm going to export the um, is a displacement map for cinema 4d so terrain height map I'm going to select tiff in the bit depth I'm going to do 32 bit float I can I've tried 16 bit it works fine but I'm just going to go the higher res today and then I'm going to flip it in the Y. I just know from experience to get the exact same map, I need to flip it there. Export, choose where you want it to export to. I've already done this once before, so I'm just going to uh, save it again. So you can see how long it takes and it's very quick. I'm going to do the same thing with the terrain normal map. Make sure it's flipped in the Y, it is PNG export. Once again, I've already got it there, so but I'll do one more time so you can see how long it takes. And the beauty of World Creator is that it is GP, GPU um, focused, so it's processing off that. So every, every of these filters is very quick to process. And then I'm going to export heat maps, textures. The texture we had was the dirt texture there. Make sure I've flipped it in the Y again like the rest and export that as well. And done. That is it. I'm going to come across into Cinema 4D now. Um, so I'll, I'll jump back into World Creator. So if we come across to the surface and base, we can see our terrain width and length is 2048. So let's make the same in Cinema 4D, create a plane, 2048, 2048. Going to open up my Octane, drag it across into here so I can see it. Let me just resize this Octane render there, 1080 by 1350. Let's drag this over. Okay, now I will create a material. Actually, let me create a sun first so we can get some lighting on our... There, I'll just, I'll just do that. So material, let's make it a diffuse material. I'll drag it to my um, plane. Let me just double click it. I'll come into the node editor. Let me drag that across. Image texture, go find my image. So it's the height map one that I saved out. 
I'll just drag it to the diffuse so you can see what it looks like. But what I want is a displacer. Put that displacer in, plug in the texture to the displacement map. You can see it's being affected there. And I want the level of detail to be what I set it at, 2048. If we come across, we can see 2048 by 2048, and it's precision of one meter, so it's um, exactly the same one by one square of this. If I come across over to here and I toggle Observe Tools, it'll tell me here the max height of this is 158.72. So I'm going to say 160 is close enough to that. So if I come across back into here, displacement, I tell this to be 160 centimeters. Let me zoom out so I can see that map. And there we have the map that we created. Let me Add the normal map as well, normal map one, put that into the normal, and then to get rid of these pesky sides, I'm going to put in a transform into both of these and just add the size to 1.001 1 .001. just 1 1.01 .01 then and it will push out those uh, pesky edges. And that is it. Now we have our, um, our terrain. And if we open up the node editor, if we want to add um, a texture so let's say I've got an image texture I've got a quixel surface which I want to use say uh, put that into the diffuse when it wants to refresh it will and there we go and if I want to mix that and say uh, here's another image texture um, I want to go grab my distribution map is what it was called. Uh, I think that's the one I saved out there. I think they're both the same. I put in the amount into the top. I put in the texture into that one and put that into the diffuse. So now you can see it's only applying. If I invert that, it will put it to the, to the top area or the bottom area. So it's only now applying that texture to the area we want. And that is it, guys. I am now just going to um, go off and make a, an artwork just based on these maps that I've taken out. So let's go do that. Ha 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 ha.